Royals now saying it's time, time to be reinstated. That is the hit king has tried this many times before and his rationale this time stealing signs is worse than gambling. Walter Smith Randolph is here with Rose's case. Walter, break this down for us. Yeah, Paula and Kyle, Pete Rose and his legal team, they lay it all out in this 19-page legal brief. They say the times have changed and the punishment no longer fits the crime. They want Pete Rose reinstated so the Baseball Hall of Fame can decide if he should be honored. Pete Rose is taking another swing at reinstatement. The switch hitter and his team of lawyers say Pete's sins pale in comparison to what some players are now doing. There's been the recent steroid scandal and even more recently the sign stealing scandal. And perhaps for good reasons, none of the players involved in those scandals have been significantly punished. But it does suggest that looking back on it now, a lifetime ban for what Pete Rose did just seems to be a bit unfair to us. Evan Kaminker is Dean Emeritus at the University of Michigan Law School. He says 30 years is more than enough time, and Pete has learned from his transgressions. Pete has admitted wrongdoing. He's, uh, it would have been better had he been more forthcoming, forthcoming early about his misconduct. But he's laid it all bare now. He's very remorseful. The West Side native was banned from baseball in 1989 amid allegations he bet on the Reds while playing for and managing the team. That banishment also means Pete can't be considered for the Baseball Hall of Fame. Lawyer Raymond Ginko says let the baseball writers decide. No one can do that judgment of the whole Pete Rose better than the baseball writers. So I, we can't get into this short interview, but you, we can agree that if you're going to bring up other parts and, and things of how he carried himself exactly, you have to give it a thorough investigation of the whole. None of us know how much longer we have in this world. And I think that uh, he's at a point in time in which he's saying, I really would like to devote my last years to the game. And I think 30 years is enough. Now, Pete Rose has tried this three times before. This time, he wants a meeting between himself, his lawyers, and the MLB commissioner. We're live at Great American Ballpark tonight. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Kyle. All right, Walter, we'll have to wait and see what happens here this time. Now, the Reds inducted the hit king into its Hall of Fame in 2016.